coming this summer to Lifetime. Do my knees look fat? You and your knees are perfect. <laughs> Deb Dawkins was a beautiful model. Check this out. Who was a little self-absorbed. I call it the toe tap booty bounce. <laughs> Jane Bigham was a brilliant attorney with low self-esteem. Jane, for what it's worth, no one under 50 wears a brooch. They had absolutely nothing in common. Until the day they died. <laughs> Now, through divine intervention, Deb's soul has found a new home in Jane's body. Miss Hopkins, I'm Fred. I'm your gatekeeper. Why do I feel bloated? Oh, your soul entered a recently vacated vessel. No, no, no. I'm going back to sleep. And when I wake up... Her name, now your name, is Jane. She wears a brooch. Nobody under 50 wears a brooch. You're my guardian. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Okay, make me skinny and hot. I'm an angel, not a wizard. One rule, you don't tell anybody about this. Why? Because people will think you're insane. Can I help you? It's easy. It's me, Deb. Pork chop? I'm calling the cops. In 10th grade, you got a nose job. We have a crazy glue and Kathy Leifert's underwear for making out with your boyfriend. You were too shy to buy yourself a vibrator, so I bought you the Boris Pecker. Deb? Yeah. Let me get this straight. You died, and they turned you into a size 16? Pretty much. That is so unfair. The only thing Deb can do now is balance the life she knew before. You're not telling Grayson? He loved Deb, but he'd run from this. And the life she's forced to deal with. This firm is where Jane feels at ease, where her intellect shines. Not only do you get Jane's body, but you get her brains, too. Ask me something. Um, like, what's the capital of New Zealand? Wellington. <laughs> What's the square root of 113? It's a prime number. Trick question. <laughs> are you okay? I'm smart. Yeah, you are. Now, you have a dinner. New client, Vicki Wellner. She's divorcing her husband. She refuses to go to court. You can't let your rich son of a bitch husband cheat on you. I won't go to court. But you need to testify. Are you whining? Why are you fighting her wishes? Do you know why I assigned this case to you? I thought you'd understand Vicky's fears and insecurities. You and Vicky are cut from the same cloth. I am not the person you think I am. I'm quitting. Playing lawyer? It was fun, but I'm over it. What, you can't just up and leave. People are depending on you. I am not a morning person. I don't like schedules or meetings or windows that don't open. You know something? You are a selfish, self-absorbed... I'm looking at Jane and all I see is Deb. I can't do this anymore! Sit. Open your mouth. Open it. Do it. Easy cheese. Is like Xanax. New body. It is like a thousand degrees in this office. It's not hot, it's your metabolism. New brains. It says right here in my brief that I wrote. Same Deb. Toe. Tap. Booty back. <laughs> this summer on Lifetime. <laughs> Who you are. Depends on who you want to be. Deb may not have been the best person in the world, but I still miss her. Does that make me self-absorbed and selfish? No, it makes you human. Drop Dead Diva. I'm craving chocolate. Chocolate. Martinis? I can live with that. <laughs> Tina Parole's I'm Alive, courtesy of Universal Motown, myspace.com slash Tina Parole.